Hello, everybody. It is Taylor, Jake, Barb, and Misty. It is time for <laughs> Roundtable Masked Singer um, recap. Um, last night, um, Group C, finally, finally, we got to see Group C. Um, we saw Squiggly Monster, Mushroom, Jellyfish, Broccoli, and Lips perform. We're going to go ahead and talk about that and talk about some of the clues and do our best to attempt to guess who they are, considering the fact that this is was such a tough week. I think it was a lot tougher than the first few weeks with the clues. And this is really the first season where, nope, everybody's having trouble. The panel's having trouble guessing. We're having trouble guessing. Um, all except for last night's um, big reveal, which we will get to. Um, but first, let's go ahead and talk about the performances. First up, last night, we had Squiggly Monster, who um, we saw some thing, interesting things in the clue package. We saw a penguin, and then something that I guess looked like a hot dog or something. Um, the clue package was video game themed. It, like, show, showed the screen where it was, like, selecting a, him selecting a character, and Ken was actually on the screen, so... I don't know the connection there. But anyway, there were also cookies in the package. Um, it says he's been a father figure and a scoundrel. And he calls himself easy on the eyes. And also during the package, we see him put on a stethoscope. So um, his voice kind of sounds familiar. I can't put my finger on where I've heard the voice before. I don't think he's a professional singer, but he can sing, whoever it is. I don't know either. Um... My mom and I were watching it last night, and she noticed that he said, I think he said, like, my fellow Americans in the clue package. So my mom was getting, like, politician vibes from um, Squiggly Monster. But as for me, I don't have any idea who this is. Like, this clue package has me confused. Yeah. I feel like I need more. I don't know. I mean, in, in the first season, if, if they would have said my fellow Americans, I would have automatically gone for politician. And considering how easy things were the first season, it probably would have been a politician. But this season, the clues are so hard. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, I don't think the little tiny things like that, yeah. would, even, in the fir even in any of the clue packages, uh, let alone the first clue package, because it'd be so obvious. And they're obviously really trying to make it more difficult this season. Uh, Barb, what do you think? What I think that uh, one of the possibilities is it could possibly be maybe someone that played a politician on TV or something, like, like in a movie or something. Um, it was hard. I mean, like, he's one of my favorites. Squiggly's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I, I had no idea, but um, <laughs> I loved his performance, though. And... Um, and he um, he did. Have you ever seen the rain um, by CCR? And I think that's the reason um, Barb likes it so much. It's the song. So, <laughs> the song I, is like I 50 wanna, years old or something. And I want to say this is a comedian. I, I feel like I feel like it's a comedian. I because I feel like the costume itself is like oh yeah, but, creepy uh, but cute at the same time. Mm -hmm. But let's so look at what the panel was saying. Um, Robin guessed Ray Romano which really isn't a bad guess considering the father figure, figure reference. Um, I, I don't think I've ever heard Ray sing before. Um, I mean, that isn't a bad guess. It isn't out of the loop. Um, another, I guess, uh, Jenny guessed Al Franken. Um, again, I've never heard Al sing before. Um, he is a political commentator. He is a comedian. Um, he was on Saturday Night Live, um, dating all the back, all the way back to the '70s. But I, I don't think it's him. And then Ken guessed Anthony Fauci, but just because of the stethoscope. I mean, that doesn't sound like a, a 90 year old doctor, or how, however old Fauci is. Yeah, no, uh, he's that's like his Bjork guesses. No, yeah, <laughs> I like the um. I like the Ray Romano guess. That would probably be what I would have went with. Yeah. Now, one person that is sort of in my head that I've seen some people guess on social media, I would love for it to be him, but I doubt it is just because he probably has way too high of a net worth. He'd cost way too much to get on the show. But one person I heard was Dwayne Johnson, and some of the clues do fit. The uh, select a character page, 
Um, yeah. Kind of reminds me of the Jumanji movies, um, especially the, the rebooted series where it was a video game setting. That makes me wonder if it may be Dwayne Johnson. Also, um, he has played a father figure. He was in the game plan about um, a football player finding out he had a daughter. Um, also, he did the movie Tooth Fairy, where he sort of was a father figure for some kids. Um, he was dating their he mom. Was, he was in Mona, so he can't sing. Yeah, he can't um, sing. Um, he sang in Mo- Moana, so yeah. he can sing. I, if you've seen you know Moana, what? But I he think can it's sing. one of the situations where he's too famous for the show. So I don't, I don't no, I think he's too big. He's too big. He's like too big. He's a A list. Like. But I can also see him be one of those people that would actually do that sort of thing. Do Mass Singer. I could see him doing it too, just for fun, even, even though yeah, I would think he wouldn't last very long. I mean, we did have Mickey Rourke do it, and I was completely blown away by him being on the show. I really yeah. didn't follow his career. I know that Barb thinks he's absolutely repulsive. That's that's the only thing I know. But. Yeah, he is repulsive, but... Um, no, but um, he also, given when that this was recorded, I know Dwayne had um, COVID was diagnosed, so maybe it's probably not him just oh, because yeah, of I forgot that. About that. But that's a good point. I completely forgot about that. But yeah, I, I mean, know. I would love to. See, but it's kind of hard to choose right now. It's going to depend on the clues. Yeah, and, um, see, um, in the coming weeks, because um, and. Group C performs again uh, next week. And of course, they usually do sort of that visual clue where they like actually bring something out on the stage. And that that could help us a little bit. But literally, yeah. I, I, I put my more. notes down on my phone. And usually when I put my notes down, I sort of put some sort of guess of who I think it could be. And I literally wrote down, I keep on doing this more and more. I just keep writing down no idea. So, <laughs> well, I definitely feel like I need more for this one. Yeah. So up next, I think was my favorite, um, my favorite of the night, Mushroom. Um, very androgynous. Um, in the clue package, Mushroom really sounds like a girl, but then when Mushroom sings, it's a guy with a really, really, really good high falsetto voice. Um, some of the clues we got in the package started um, out in a rat race with a surprising job, turned a hobby into a career. Something I did notice in the clue in the very, in the super sneak peek we saw the clue was they've worn a lot of hats in their career. And one person that um, does come to mind with that clue is Pharrell because he does wear hats. Um, I don't really know if any of the other clues fit. Um, what's I gonna say? I lost my train of thought. I hate when I do this. <laughs> um, oh, oh, there were a lot of Hamilton get references in the clue package, and a lot of people are guessing it's somebody from Hamilton. But again, like I keep saying, they aren't gonna make, especially in the fourth season, they aren't gonna make the clues that obvious for somebody. I mean, there is a possibility Serpent um, could be Leslie Odom Jr., but there are slight references that could be related right. to Hamilton, that could not be related to Hamilton. But with Mushroom, I don't think it's way too out in the open to be somebody from Hamilton. Um, the coaches, uh, Nicole guessed um, Donald Glover, which honestly isn't a bad guess. And I think he, we could see him do the show because he is real popular, he is famous, but he's not at the point where he would it would cost way too much money to do the show but i could totally see it being uh donald glover you, you know who i started thinking about when you were talking is um jonathan groff i no, i don't think he has a falsetto like that i've, I've heard him sing before oh. i haven't fallen that much but my sister used to be obsessed with him yeah, he, I was with him too. <laughs> it just yeah, I don't it, things that high. Did, if, um, if you watch Glee, then yeah, you were obsessed with Jonathan Groff yeah. at one point. <laughs> he actually knew who he was um, from Spring Awakening, which was a musical on Broadway. But she was literally obsessed with him and obsessed with Spring Awakening. But I don't know about. I don't know if he has that falsetto. Uh, Jenny, uh, Ken guessed Usher, 
which wouldn't be a bad guess. I think, I don't think the, um, I don't think the falsetto uh, belongs to um, Usher. I don't know. I could be wrong. And then um, Jenny guessed Frank Ocean. One person that came to mind that it kind of sound that I, I get from the falsetto um, and also the war many hats clues could be a reference to being both singer and actor. I kind of thought Justin Timberlake, but, but then again, I think his net worth would be way too high um, for the show. Um, well, see, that's, that's what my problem was with Mushroom. I couldn't figure out if this was like a guy or a girl because like like it said, um, it sounds like a woman when they're talking, but then it's sounds like a guy when they're singing. Um, so I, we, I did catch all the Hamilton references in the clue package, but um, one person that came to mind for me was Billy Porter. And that could the, be a good guess. Um, I the don't reason I... I say this is because I've seen him wear hats. He, he has worn hats before. So, and I, I don't know. It's just something, uh, something about it. The Andrew. I'm going to go with Billy Porter. Could be leaning towards Billy Porter. So I think, definitely think it could be him. They've guessed him before. And yeah, that's a good guess. It is a very good guess. It it definitely could be um, Billy Porter, and uh, maybe next week we'll get some more clues to see what happens with that. Um, up next, we had Jellyfish. Um, in her clue package, we saw a lot of Instagram references. Um, said um, she said she reigned supreme in her tiny king, tiny kingdom. There were uh, fans on the wall, like the little, like um, Asian fans that you would see, um, in, like royalty in Asia would wear. Um, there was an angel, f a fish with a halo, um, tiara on her head. Um, she has a really good voice. Um, I don't know if it's a professional singer or not. I'm wondering, it, because there were coast to coast clues I'm thinking this could be the Olympian this season, just because I don't think Mushroom's the Olympian. Broccoli is definitely not an Olympian, and we'll get to that in a minute. And I really, maybe the video game reference could mean, like, game, Olympic game, could be Squiggly Monster, but I'm really leaning towards Jellyfish. And um, Robin did guess Gab Gabby Douglas, which isn't a bad um, guess. And um, she's part of the Fierce Five who competed in the 2012 uh, Summer Olympics in gymnastics. Um, that isn't a bad guess at all. I think this is the Olympian because, you know, in the clue package, there was coast to coast. Um, uh, coast to coast within the clear package, um, a big following. Um, and then there was the pow baby powder, which, you know, they use powder in gymnastics. So um, I am gonna go with Robin on this one. I think it's Gabby Douglas too. Like, I, this costume just screams Gabby Douglas to me. I, I'm gonna go with Gabby Douglas. That you have mentioned is Carly Patterson. She she has sang in the past. She actually did a show on Fox uh, back in 2006 called Celebrity Duets, where celebrities not normally known for singing paired up with singers each week and sang a duet with them. And she was on that. She didn't win, but she had a pretty good voice. I don't know if it would be her voice though, because from what I remember from Carly being on that show. If she had more what seemed like a country voice, and it really didn't sound country to me. Um, other guesses, Ken Glass Clo guessed uh, Chloe Grace Moretz or Aquafina, which, uh, not bad guesses, but then again, it's Ken, so yeah. And then uh, Nicole guessed um, Sophia Ritchie. But I am, I do think this is the Olympian, and I do think it's, um, it, it probably is Gabby Douglas. Uh, what do you think, Barb? I'm gonna go with Carly. And um, it's just a feeling I got. Um, you'll see more next week because that's the week that I saw. <laughs> but um, I was yeah, because I, 
<laughs> but yeah, I see, I, I'm going to go with Carly on this one. And um, just a gut feeling because I did hear country in her. So I had first thought it was going to be Kelly Pickler, to be honest, until I saw the clue package. She'd be the mess singer. She'd be so much fun on the show. I would she have would be a blast on there. <laughs> and up next, <laughs> go ahead, Jake. <laughs> okay, well, it's almost like you could tell she wasn't a, she showed a lot of nervousness on the stage. So it's, I don't think she was a professional singer. Mm -hmm. One one guess I did have to laugh at on social media was Billie Eilish. Um, Gosh. That is not her voice. <laughs> I know. And I mean, the costume not, does seem anytime, like something she would wear, but like, that's not her. Anytime Billie Eilish sings, it sounds like she's being smothered by a pillow. That's why. <laughs> and she, she, whisp she whispers when she yeah. sings live. And... It, jellyfish is my favorite only because green is my favorite color so um it that one stood out to me and i yeah. i really want to see her go far i want to see her i would like to see her win it and um but yeah i'm gonna still stick with carly up next we had broccoli um in the clue package we saw him doing a dance challenge on tiktok um, this guy has a huge personality. I definitely think it's a comedian. Um, something about a contest gracing the wheels for his career, which I really don't get. Um, singing, he said he was singing a tribute to the greats. Um, de uh, definitely an older singer. Definitely not a professional. In the clue package, we saw um, we saw broccoli uh, swinging on a s screen or swinging on a swing. Uh, we saw iceberg lettuce in the package. Um, a lot, a lot of, um, a lot of stuff in the package. Um, Nicole guessed Bill Murray, which honestly isn't a bad guess. And after the performance and her saying that, it sort of clicked in my head that it could be him because the performance sounded so similar to the Nick the Lounge Singer sketches on SNL um, because um, Bill is, notorious notoriously a bad singer and actually does sing in comedic bits just sort of to make fun of the fact that he's such a bad singer um but uh bill murray isn't a bad guess i don't know on this one i kind of the my first thought was um maybe this is like a tv chef because um it seemed like there were a lot of food I guess there were a lot of food. I guess they showed a lot. They showed a couple of different food items in the clue package. And then um, he said he's all about being healthy. So I, I'm not sure on this one. I want to say it's a TV chef, but I'm probably wrong. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think it would. I, I think it's a comedian. Yeah. Just the way he acts, he just comes off as a total goofball. Definitely somebody we've seen in movies before that likes having a good time. Um, another guest, uh, Jenny guest Howie Mandel. Um, I don't know if Howie would do this show. I mean, he did do America's Got Talent. Um, um, with the pandemic, I don't know if he'd do it. Um, plus, I don't, I don't think that it's his voice. I could be wrong. Um, another good guest um, Robin, did, uh, ha Robin had based off the Iceberg Lettuce was Steve Gutenberg, which again isn't a bad guess. Very huge comedic actor. Um, obviously loves to have a lot of fun on screen. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it if it were Bill Murray. I wouldn't be surprised if it were Steve Gutenberg. Um, I would say maybe Martin Short, but the voice is a little too low to be Martin Short. Um, but I'm leaning toward in the direction of either Steve Gutenberg or Bill Murray right now. Yeah. It um initially my first thought when i saw broccoli of course was um no darn it blank steve's on only because he played broccoli in daddy daycare one of my favorite movies <laughs> but um no i it could be bill murray um especially when he said this is for he, when he dedicated the song and he kind of does that in his um when he does performance i i saw something this morning on YouTube when he 
did a tribute to George Clooney. <laughs> and he said, this is for George or whatever. And it yeah. kind of clicked a little bit. But I would have needed to see more clues. Yeah, and the two or more men clue um, could be referenced to maybe Shaq. Um, could be maybe referenced to him in the cast of Saturday Night Live because he was there um, when he first started. He was one of the original, um, not actually not one of the original cast members. He joined the cast in season two, but he was on the show very, very early on and was on the show after Chevy Chase left. Um, and so the two or more guys, um, reigning two or more men could maybe mean the trio of him, Dan Aykroyd and John Belushi maybe. Or maybe him, Rodney Dangerfield, Ted Knight, and um, Chevy Chase and Caddyshack. Um, Steve Gutenberg, uh, reigning two or more men, could maybe be referenced to the police officers and police academy. This could go in so many directions. Oh, and I forgot about Ghostbusters, too. Um, oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. definitely, I'm actually going to have my dad listen to Broccoli because he's a pretty big Bill Murray fan, and I'm going to see if he li if he says it's Bill Murray, it probably is because my dad, my Caddyshack is my dad's favorite movie. So I definitely I love. I would love for that movie. I mean, I'll just jump on the Bill Murray train, even though I have like no idea on this one. <laughs> Yeah, I love Bill Murray. I would love it if it is him because I've always been a Bill Murray fan. And I mean, as my age, I remember when Bill Murray took over Chevy Chase's spot. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, because he, he used to do this lizard lounge singer type yeah, of thing uh, as a skit. It's, it's and thing. And people People love Bill Murray. I, I, I don't matter. Like I don't care what he's on. People love Bill Murray. Yeah. So, <laughs> but but the one thing that kind of gets me confused is the contest clue. Um, makes me almost wonder if it if it's William Hung just because of how terrible the singing was. But but I don't think it's him. I think it's definitely comedian, older comedian Bill Murray or Steve Gutenberg. Um, moving on, uh, to the last performance of the night, um, we had Lips. <laughs> <laughs> we all, and I honestly, that, that was so bad. bad. Can we talk about how bad that was? Yeah. But I was laughing at how bad it was. Like, I couldn't stop it laughing. Was, it was awful. It was, it was, it was almost beyond bad. Yeah. And, um, uh, it but, was, it was. <laughs> but the clues we got um cheetah rollerblades um a mirror ball um electric shock um fire um we we've been picking up on this for a few weeks now and i think even in our first we did the um recap of the previous special i think that jake actually did say wendy williams <laughs> i have been saying wendy williams that's her love that's her love. But it was it was a terrible performance. I mean, I guess she's an okay singer, but it's obvious she wasn't taking it seriously. She uh, was, like, talking more than she was singing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I thought it was her, but as soon as I saw the fire, it made me think of Hot Topics. And as soon as I saw the fire, I, I knew it was her. Um, but anyway... Um, Jenny and Nicole both guessed Wendy Williams. Um, and, um, of course, if she was unmasked, and that's who it was. She was obviously going to be the first eliminated, obviously be the first eliminated out of Group C. But it is kind of sad to see her go just because it's obvious how much fun she was having. She might have been yeah. on something, um, especially considering a clip I saw of the new season, the Wendy Williams show, where she was stoned out of her mind. So... So, I mean, at least you had fun doing it. Like, you know, yeah. at least you had fun doing it. Mm -hmm. Right. But I I was silently relieved when she was voted off because yeah. I'm not a fan of hers to begin with. So, um... I would have loved to see her do another bad performance I could laugh at, you know? <laughs> it was just so entertaining. <laughs> I just yeah. like people on the show that have fun. And, and that's, I think, what the show's about. And Wendy, especially, she's been going through a rough time lately, and to see her on the show and kind of cut loose, it was it was nice to see. Yeah, how you doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
So anyway, um, that was it for uh, Group C. Uh, next week um, are the Group C playoffs. We will see Mushroom, Jellyfish, Squiggly Monster, and Broccoli perform again. Um, unless something crazy happens, I think um, Broccoli is going to get unmasked next week. I don't know. I want maybe, to say Squiggly not. Monster or Broccoli because I feel like Jellyfish and... Mushroom. Jellyfish. And Mushroom. Jellyfish and Mushroom are both good singers, I think. So I think it's going to be Squiggly Monster or um, Broccoli. Mm -hmm. They get some masks. I think it's going to be Broccoli. Uh, yeah, I think it'll definitely be Broccoli. Um, I think the only reason he went through this week is because he took it more seriously than uh, Wendy did. So Because Wendy was seriously bad. Yeah. And <laughs> At least he tried. Made it New York. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 this would be, ha be if, what would happen if I were to be to yeah. do that singer. I, there, there's no way. But... Um, no, I, I just think it, it uh, maybe broccoli. Yeah. But anyway, um, that is it for our show today. Um, we will be back on Tuesday for our voice um, recap. Um, also, uh, next week, we'll be back for The Masked Singer. And hopefully next week, um, Jake and I have been sort of taking a break from The Bachelorette because it's such a hot mess right now. I'm not really... Yes. Very hot hopefully, hopefully we'll be back doing that next week. Um, also, we may or may not be recapping Real Housewives of Salt Lake City when that premieres. Um, we will have to wait and see. Also, coming soon, we will be um, recapping season 36 of The Challenge. Uh, stay tuned for premiere details on that. As always, follow us on our social media pages and um, also our blog where each week I post articles about the shows we cover. Um, once again, thank you very much for tuning in, and we will see you next time.